Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to treat varroa mites with um, thyme oil. So basically, uh, it's very simple. Uh, we're going to make a solution with the base oil and then we're going to put one drop of thyme oil in there. If you have a hive with two supers, you obviously would um, double everything. So one of the reasons why we chose thyme oil over all other oils, one, it is the more the more effective oil against uh, varroa mites compared to other essential oils. According to some online sources, it has a, a very high success rate at killing varroa mites, even up to a hundred percent. And two, it also helps with keeping the beetles away from the hive and other insects. The only thing with thyme oil, you have to be very careful not to overdo it because if you overdo it <laughs> you could kill your bees but don't worry we will show you exactly how we do it so basically what we're gonna do is make the solution smoke the hive a little bit get in there and cut out um, four by four inch squares soak the, these squares with the solution and put it in the hive uh, on top of the frames and that's it but before we do that, I want to tell you a little bit about our uh, short experiment that we're, we're, we're doing. Ah! The, bees, the bees are super um, agitated today for some reason. And let me tell you a little bit about my dad. He has not uh, used chemicals at all uh, last year and this year uh, to treat varroa mites. He's been using other med hoods. To do that. We switched out um, two of these highs to a different bottom board. Basically, it's a screen bottom board, and this will help us be figure out um, how much varroa mites are actually falling, which is pretty cool. Um, so the very first thing that we did with these bottom boards after we installed them is we smoked the hive, the entrance and on top of the hive and actually fed them with sugar syrup and I will be feeding them for another 13 days or so. The, uh, the queen is caged still. So this hive actually was pretty good visually on varroa mites. After we smoked them, um, we only had two varroa mites, about two or maybe three varroa mites fall down. And then this hive was a little worse visually with varroa mites. And what happened is um, after we smoked them, uh, we had about 25 or so varroa mites fall down on the screen um, bottom so basically even though this hive had a whole lot less bees it um, way more varroa mites fell down this hive had a whole lot more bees and we had only two varroa mites fall down just from smoking then what we did we basically uh, let it sit for about 15 hours or so uh, to see how much varroa mites will fall down naturally without doing anything to it. Uh, we checked the first 15 hours and then now this is the second 15 hours about or so. We'll be checking visually how much varroa mites fell down naturally. This will tell us, um, can tell us how hygienic they are. So this is the worst hive that we checked. If you have not seen uh, our last couple of videos, uh, we did one video on this bad hive that had much less bees and much more varroa mites fall down onto the screen board. And now, um, after our first 15 hours, we, we visually took a note of how many varroa mites were in this hive. And so this is the next 15 hours. We're about to visually take a look at it and see how much varroa mites fall down naturally without doing anything 
to them. So I don't know if you can see anything, but um, this is an up close view of the Voromites. I'm about to take a visual count. Um, it's not gonna be super exact, but hopefully close enough. This is from the worst hive. Um, we have not done any met hoods throughout the year with this hive. We just let it be the way it is. And um, let me count. This hive had about 65 or so varroa mites. This is after not doing anything to them. This is how they naturally fall from being naturally hygienic. After visually checking this bad hive, we I counted about 65. And now I'm sure this is not exact. It looks like they're getting robbed because they are a weaker family. Or they're trying to. Some other hive is trying to rob it. Yes, I did get stung in the back by that crazy robbing, getting robbed hive. And then this hive was the better hive, the stronger hive. We only found about 10, under 10 varroa mites in this hive uh, after about 15 hours. The first 15 hours that we checked, it was a very similar count to the second 15 hours that we checked. Now we'll be checking and counting the varroa mites to see how much of them will fall after treating them with thyme oil and coconut oil. The reason why my dad thinks this, good, this hive is much lower on varroa mites is because during the year uh, we this hive was cleanless twice for about a month and this dramatically helped uh, reduce the varroa mites because most of the varroa mites is in the brood. So my dad purposely uses that in other hives by temporarily putting a queen in a cage so that um, there is no brood coming out. A lot of people think that you may be losing uh, bees doing this but you actually may be saving them from varroa mites. and. The interesting thing about that is when you cage the queen um, at the right time, especially in springtime during a heavy nectar flow, the bees will actually save up a lot of honey and this will benefit the bees. Uh, instead of wasting all the resources and brood and um, you know nurturing the brood, uh, the bees will bring a lot of honey and store a lot of honey for you. And then even if you don't want to take the honey from them, they will have more honey, uh, possibly throughout the year and going towards the winter. So caging queen a couple times a year may not be a bad idea. As you, can, as you saw in our last video, that's the only thing we did with this hive. We did not use any chemicals at all. Um, last year and this year, absolutely no chemicals. And this hive turned out to be or have a very low count of varroa mites and we have noticed this with many other hives and my dad has noticed that with a lot of his hives and he's been using that method for a while now on most of his hive by purposely caging the queen and then this hive was the bad hive this is the hive that we did not use any any methods at all so when we this is a swarm hive when we put the swarm in we did add a couple brood frames to make it stronger from other um, beehives but other than that we did not do anything we did not cage the queen in here um, or any other methods that my dad natural methods that my dad uses normally and um, the result is they're supposed to have more bees because we did not You want to lose weight become a beekeeper
I think another hive is trying to rob this hive and that's why even though I'm not super up close that's why they're a little bit angry so basically what I was saying is that it's a good idea to do something throughout the year in spring summer and um, fall for varroa mites we'll be posting other strategies that we incorporate we don't use all the strategies all the time on each hive but we at least use one or two or three and depends on what the hive needs we'll be treating them with thyme oil so thyme oil has to be food grade you literally can ingest you can ingest this thyme oil internally I will post links in the description section for you to check it out exactly where we get this thyme oil. It's super pure. It has been tested. It has no chemicals. This is the thyme oil we're using for the experiment. And we'll be using coconut oil as our base oil. We are specifically using Nutiva for a couple reasons. One, it was not processed with any chemicals at all. And, and two, it, it should have more um, nutrition benefits like MCTs, uh, antibacterial. So coconut oil in general is supposed to help with varroa mites. So this will be an interesting experiment. Um, we have used essential oils before, but we have never used it with coconut oil. This is the first time we are hoping to have a really high success rate with this we're going to be using coconut oil as a base oil what we're going to do is basically put four ounces of coconut oil in this measuring cup and only one drop of thyme oil and this is how cool this is if this formula works it literally has 200 and 50 drops in here. If this formula works, this is going to be an extremely inexpensive way of treating a varroa mite. And it's about $40, but it will last you for a few years if you have a few hives. And then coconut oil is very inexpensive too. I will put a link in the description section. This should be, this whole combination should be much cheaper than treating your hives with chemicals three times a year. Nutiva is the only brand we recommend. We, would, we do not recommend any other brands due to we don't believe in chemicals and that can produce different results. You can either use a paper towel, 4x4 four four, uh, inch, or you can use a cheesecloth. Uh, we'll be trying it with cheesecloth. So this is how we're doing it, but I'm sure if you use a regular paper towel it should work well too and we'll show you exactly how to do it so we're just gonna take um, four ounces of nutiva coconut oil you could technically use two drops if you're brave but we will start on the low end this is a very strong stuff oh we got two drops in there so I uh, guess we're going with with the stronger solution and then mix it really really good so coconut oil alone, some people just treat a varroa mice with coconut oil alone. So thyme oil should be a bonus in here. And it, might, it needs to be Nutiva brand because a lot of brands may not have the antibacterial properties in it and the MCTs and uh, maybe processed with chemicals. And I would mix it really, 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 really good. You could, you could still smell it. It's very strong. So you leave the squares inside the hive. You can leave them for three weeks, up to a month, and um, treat them that way. So we'll be documenting the progress and seeing if it's um, doing anything for our hives. You, this is uh, experimental, especially with the coconut oil. So if you want to try this at home, you definitely could 
try it for yourself and see if it works for you. I would mix it really, 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 really good. Because there's only one or two drops of that oil, it needs to be spread evenly very well. Because that solution is so, because the essential oil is so strong, it needs to be really spread well. This is very important. All right. And then, I'm going to be using a cheesecloth, 4 by 4 inches. And I'll leave it pretty thick, like that. Take these out and they're going to be completely soaked and what you want to do is actually um, make sure they are completely drained all the way. I mean not drained but squeeze them really hard so that there's no oil dripping. If there's oil dripping the bees can die in it. So make sure it's completely all squeezed out. That is extremely important. You cannot have any oil dripping at all on the bees. Make sure they're not dripping and put them on top for the bees to come in, come in contact with. They, if they come in contact with uh, this oil, this thyme oil, the varroa mites should drop. You can leave these in for about a month. bottoms I'll show you what to do with this I kill all the varroa mites on here with this oil it's very important that you have some kind of oil on the screen bottom because varroa mites like to crawl and sometimes the bees get underneath the hive on the screen bottom and get a, get on the top of those bees and those bees can take these varroa mites back into the hive or they can crawl up back into the hive. So it's very important that there is some kind of oil. It doesn't have to be this coconut oil, but this, the varroa mites hate this coconut oil. Take some of this coconut oil that is left, we'll soak it with, with uh, a paper towel and then we'll spread this paper towel across this screen board so that when varroa mites fall they will die and get stuck in the oil and it will be so much easier to clean this board so I have treated two hives with that solution um, two drops of thyme oil that was enough to treat this hive and that hive, this is a bit stronger hive, that's the weaker hive and I'm really curious to see uh, if, if there's a difference so I will be checking again um, how many varroa mites dropped in uh, about 15 hours or so to see if there's any major differences <laughs> After they were treated with thyme oil and coconut oil, we have found um, double the varroa mites fall down. But this test should not be trusted alone. 
um, there are more tests that need to be done like if the hive the weaker hive especially survives the winter and we'll be posting updates on that too hopefully if we're still around next year we'll be treating all of our hives with thyme oil and coconut oil and going from there and so far it's very positive results um, to really see uh, uh, there's just one more test <laughs> that we need to do is to see if it survives the winter and we'll be posting updates on this to see if this weak hive survives the winter it was in a really bad shape with varroa mites if it survives the winter then um, there's something to it thank you for watching guys we will see you in our next video